another thing to talk about which kind of you know i'm sure most of you have seen it but just kind of broke my heart i've been thinking about it for the past week i'm not gonna lie um was this absolutely heartbreaking story about this little girl um in gaza that was found dead um shortly after calling the red cross for help um absolutely tragic story right called um hin rajab sorry hin rajab six years old was found dead in gaza after a phone call um to for help and it's a tragic story especially when you see the picture of the little girl right an absolute angel um, and reading the article itself the six-year-old girl who went missing in gaza city last month has been found dead along with several of her relatives and two paramedics right and this is the worst bit about it right because some people out there especially some of the you know some of the hardcore pro-israeli people or some of the anti ceasefire people or some of the you know hardcore zionist guys out there will be like hey this is you know a casualty of war unfortunately war is not you know war is ugly but the really tragic part about this is that this girl was calling the red cross for aid and then they not only you know littered her car that she was traveling in with her parents with absolute you know with missiles and bullets but he also took out the flipping paramedics who were trying to help her you know what i mean who were trying to help her family that's the really tragic heartbreaking side about this whole thing um and it goes along with two paramedics who tried to save her um after they appear to have some kind of come under fire from israeli tanks hin rajaba was fleeing the city with a car with her aunt uncle and three cousins at the time um audio recordings of calls between hind and emergency cooperators suggest that the six-year-old was only one left alive in the car hiding from israeli forces among the bodies of her relatives so that's even worse actually than that, the actual story that i remember seeing online so she's actually still alive calling the red, the red cross for help they try and go and help um and then later on as the red cross is going to help i guess the israeli tanks see the red cross is going there and assume somebody else is still alive in the car and bomb the car once again and take out the little girl and also the paramedics that are going to help her absolutely horrible um her pleas for someone to rescue her ended with a phone call line just cut and made a sound of more gunfire paramedics from palestinian red cross society managed um on saturday to reach the area which has previously been closed off as an active combat zone they found the black kia car hindered been traveling in it's a windscreen dashboard smashed to pieces bullet holes scattered across the side can you imagine how scared that little six-year-old girl must have been can you imagine the terror the terror inside of her as she's calling the red cross with all her relatives around her dead and slain and not responding right she's still having to process that imagine as a kid having to process the fact that your relatives around you are just you know they're not responding to your calls they clearly are gone and you have to kind of process that but still remain calm and cool and ask for help and stuff and they get there and then the people that are there to help you um are then getting you know are then dying themselves in the line of duty and then the, obviously the young girl herself ends up passing away it's just tragically and if anything you know love and solidarity to all my brothers and sisters out there in palestine you know free palestine until the end and ceasefire always but it's just kind of a reminder you know just to kind of have things in perspective when wherever we're kind of you know de debating about nonsense of the timeline and arguing about nonsense things there are people out there especially in palestine especially in gaza and um, especially in congo and all over the world who are going through crazy situations who are really suffering at the time when you're flipping arguing about zendaya's outfit or whatever it is or something or you saw on love island it's absolutely crazy to think people's um you know people are out here kind of making you know the biggest deal out of the really minute things when there are literal people losing their lives on the daily basis right in front of us and we're becoming somewhat desensitized to it you know that's a really troubling side about this whole thing um it continues here one paramedic told journalists that hind was among six bodies found inside a car all of which show signs of gunfire and shelling a few meters away were the remains of another car completely burnt out its engine spilling um onto the ground this is the red crescent says in the ambulance sent from the fetch um hind its crew yusuf al zinio and ahmed al -Am mahmoud Madhun, sorry, were killed when the ambulance was bombed by Israeli forces, the organization says. In a statement, the PRSCS accused Israel of deliberately targeting ambulances as soon as it arrived on the scene in 29th of January. The Israeli occupation deliberately targeted at the Red Crescent crew despite obtaining prior con 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 sorry, coordination to allow the ambulance to arrive. Um, the PCRS told the BBC they had taken um, several hours to coordinate access to the Israeli army and the really tragic thing about it is that you'll hear pro-israeli people say whenever they've been confronted with this story i've seen a few clips of people basically say oh but hamas but hamas but hamas it's like 
yes, the Hamas um, attack during the music festival was abhorrent. Um, you know, the Hamas attack during, you know, when they were kind of going through parts of Israel, which is basically slain random people that they were kind of coming across, right, was absolutely disgusting. And we obviously, um, everybody disavows that. It's obviously not great to see those type of things. But answering that level of brutality with this level of brutality surely isn't the way, you know? Surely this isn't a way to kind of rectify things. Surely this isn't a way to sort of quell things. Surely this isn't a way to kind of subjugate people. You'd think so, right? You you wouldn't think this would actually work in terms of getting people under your foot um, or getting people to surrender. You think this is not going to work because you'd imagine there are tons of, you know, Palestinian people out there who see these stories and more, especially when it's affecting people within their direct family who are crying and mourning for these people and they're going to go, they're going to go out and then they're going to do even more or even worse than what Hamas have ever did, right? Or they're just going to continue, continue that fight. So I don't know, man, it's absolutely horrible. Um, I really do hope um you know this, situ this situation gets rectified sooner rather than later maybe the only situation that can maybe the only peaceful resolution we have at the moment now is a ceasefire which is still looking very unlikely considering how things are escalating but i just can't you know i don't know i just can't take any timeline conversation seriously when s literal six-year-old girls are being flipping killed in palestine on a daily basis um you know when they out when they're out here kind of crying for help um you know when they sat around all their fam family and relatives who are flipping passed away it's absolutely tragic so r.i.p hin rajab and her family friends um you know can't and just you know i just cannot imagine what they're kind of going through now at the moment and hopefully we have a peaceful resolution sooner or later and hopefully all of you motherfuckers out there complaining about nonsense that you know you keep your you keep all this stuff in mind because really and truly it could be far worse for you out there it could be really really far worse for you out there and of always free motherfucking palestine